there, my name's Sophie Common and I'm a wildlife vet within the DRAS team at ZSL. DRAS stands for Disease Risk Analysis and Health Surveillance and broadly the team works to um, consider disease and mitigate it within wildlife translocations. So red kite declines initially in England and now in Spain are often largely because of anthropogenic mortality, so threats caused by humans. And some of these threats include persecution, so people killing red kites actively because of their perceived threat to livestock accidental poisoning, things like lead poisoning um, because they're scavengers and they're highly prone to ingesting things like lead in carcasses. Also power line collisions in Spain is a big problem. Red kite populations in England declined to extinction over the past century, but back in um, the 80s and 90s, the DRAS team and ZSL were involved in a reintroduction project which was hugely successful. And now there are loads and loads of pairs of kites all over the country and you'll see them flying around, I'm sure, particularly in the south of England. DRAS has been continuing health surveillance of the released red kites in England over the past 20 years. And it's very nice because this actually means that we can now donate some of these kites back to Spain where they're now suffering from losses. This is part of a wider project called the Life Euro Kite Project, which aims to reduce anthropogenic threats to red kites across Europe to try to boost the population. We're working to translocate 90 red kite nestlings from the UK to Spain over a three year period. I'm here today uh, to health check the first 16 birds before they are translocated to Spain. And what a health check involves is a veterinary assessment. So we listen to their air sacs, we listen to their heart. We generally assess them to make sure they're in good condition. And we take certain swabs, for example, for avian influenza to make sure that they're all healthy before they're translocated. But we're taking measurements um, and we do this with their wings and certain bones in their legs to help us to identify their sex um, and to use that data in future research projects. And we palpate all of their bones and we palpate their pectoral muscles so that we can feel whether they're in good condition and um, make sure that we don't have any fractures or underlying problems that might mean that they can't fly when they're released. We also give them a full ophthalmic examination which involves looking at their eyes and we use an ophthalmoscope for this and we look really carefully to make sure that they haven't got anything that would affect their vision when they're released because obviously they're reliant on their vision for finding food. They really are beautiful birds and it's amazing seeing them flying around the skies again in England and so I hope that the populations in Spain will flourish as they have in England. So my wish for the red kites is that the global populations will continue to increase and we can reduce the threats to red kites such as persecution and reduce the stigma surrounding them with regard to their perceived threat to livestock and game birds. Thank you for supporting ZSL and helping us to secure a future for wildlife like these red kites.